Good morning to my second and third grade students. I'm gonna go over lesson five. As you all know, we are in the current energy crisis unit. Um, the lesson name for that is fossil fuels. So you, I need you to look at the packet that has the 3-17-2020 date on it. Again, the name of um, that lesson is fossil fuels and the tag strategy we're gonna be working on is metaphorical expressions, okay? So go ahead and I'm at home. So I have my two, almost three-year-old. He's doing his work sitting over there. So uh, you may hear him in the background. I do apologize, but I did want to get this video out to you guys. So I want you to go ahead and turn to your the third page of the lesson plan where it says essential questions. We all know that the essential question is what you should know by the end of this class period or you should be able to answer it by the end of this lesson, okay? We have two essential questions. The first one is, in what ways might we impact the supply and demand for energy? The second one is, how might I create analogies about fossil fuels, okay? If you go down to where it says teacher lesson preparation, you guys have the materials you need. Um, it should be attached to your packet. It is the metaphor metaphorical expression handouts as well as the carousel brainstorming questions and those questions are right below the area where it says activating strategy for example hook mini lesson warm-up connection to prior learning so let's go ahead and take a look at those questions the questions you need to answer are those ones with the asterisk by them and what a carousel brainstorming is you all know that in class i'll usually have one question at each table i give you guys sticky notes you go around to those um, tables and you answer the questions then we do a museum walk where you walk around and you look at your uh, classmates responses we're not in that setting but I do want you to answer those questions so the first question is in your opinion should the U.S. buy fossil fuels from other countries or only use what we can find in our own country and why think about the time that we're in now okay we're basically in quarantine um, that's why we're not in school and Think about if we had to rely on other countries for things, okay? I want you to keep that in mind when you're answering your questions. Again, in your opinion, should the U.S. buy fossil fuels from other countries or only use what you can find in your own country and why? The next one is why do people, why are people so dependent on energy? Why are people so dependent on energy? The next one, what if your family decided not to use any electricity for the next year? Again, think about it. They want us in the house for two weeks. So think about not having any electricity for an entire year. The next one is name all the things you can that need electricity or fuel to work. Um, again, name all the things you, you can that need electricity or fuel to work. The next question, how are energy and a cloud alike? A cloud in the sky, okay? How are energy and a cloud alike? And how are they different? Okay, the next one, the last question for our carousel brainstorming is, how can someone or something have energy yet not have any energy? How can someone or something have energy yet have no energy? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, I want you to take a look at your um, questions, okay, or your packet. Where fossil fuels come from, okay? Um, and I want you to read that. You're going to read that. And this is what the packet should look like. Okay. Where fossil fuels come from. And while you're doing it, I want you to underline or highlight the important information. Okay. The key details. So you're going to read about where fossil fuels come from. You're going to read about coal, oil, or petroleum. And then um, natural gas. Okay. It's going to teach you all about fossil fuels in your reading. I want you to take notes, underline, highlight key details while reading that, okay? After you do that, you're going to complete the personal analogy, okay? You will, um, wait, I'm sorry, I skipped over. You're going to read over your information about fossil fuels and discuss. Then you're going to work to complete the visual organizer, okay? The visual organizer is, give me a second. The fossil fuel content organizer, okay? Everything is in your packet, all right? So after you complete that, you will then, uh, you will basically compare a fossil fuel to a waffle after reading the waffle recipe. I hope I added that in. If I did not, just don't worry about it, and I didn't. I didn't add the waffle recipe in there. So don't worry about comparing the waffle to the fossil fuels. 
So what we'll then do, just move on. You will work to complete the personal analogy. Um, you will analyze or um, compare yourself to fossil fuels, okay? Um, individually record your response to the following questions. Where do you live? How do you feel when you are running dry? How do you feel when people argue about you? How do you feel when you are extracted from the ground? And then um, I want you to write a story, a poem, or song in first person, meaning using I, about your life as a fossil fuel, okay? You're going to write a poem, story, or a song about your life as a fossil fuel. Fossil fuel. So that's you as a, as coal, as uh, gas, petroleum, those things that we just learned about. You could choose either one that you would like to be, and then you're going to uh, put yourself in their shoes, okay? Or its shoes. Then you're going to explain the process involved in creating a, uh, well, we've done comp compressed conflicts. Brainstorm synonyms and anonyms of fossil fuels in order to create uh, the conflict. And that is in here. So basically, you're going to go through, do the best that you can. I know that we're not in person, but I just want you to do the best that you can to answer the packet. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at ruckerad at fultonschools.org. Or you can um, call me. Um, my Google number is actually on our website. Um, you can go to... Park Lane's website, click on academics. There's a tab, a tab for tag. And then my website will come up. It has all my information as well as the resources for these lessons. Again, I hope you guys are staying safe and um, I hope you guys have a great day. Get the work done and this won't last too long, you guys. Stay busy, stay motivated, research and read, okay? Love y'all.